What's going on everybody, AQX underscore you here, otherwise known as Aqua. Today we are back with yet another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install NPWD into your very own 5M server. So, if you don't know what NPWD is, it's a standalone phone. It stands for New Phone Who Dis. Um, and pretty much, it's a standalone 5M phone. Uh, so you don't need ESX or anything like that. Um, so we're going to need a couple different things for this to work. Obviously we're going to need the phone itself. We're going to need Screenshot Basic, PMA Voice, PE Core, and OX MySQL. And then you're also going to need a database, which I'm not going to show you how to set up in this specific video. Uh, here's the documentation. If you ever get stuck on anything or you just need help, uh, I suggest reading the documentation. It can be very helpful. We're actually going to be using the documentation today for some of the things that we do. Um, so... To start, we're going to go ahead and install all of our resources here. So, we're going to start with PMA Voice. This is just a basic proximity voice um, system, and uh, it needs it for the phone to work. Uh, I believe the phone works with some other um, uh, voice systems like VoIP, but, uh, or like, like other VoIPs, but um, the, and the, the phone specifically uh, supports this so we're gonna go to the releases tab make sure you never download something uh, right off of here unless it's the uh, like don't ever download the source code unless that's your only download option always go to the releases tab and just go ahead and hit the source code because that's the only thing this thing has so there we go so we're gonna download that and then we're gonna download screenshot basic and then we can go ahead and download the phone I'm going to be using 1.7.1 in this video, but it shouldn't change depending on what version you're on. The setup should be about the same. Like I said, read the documentation if anything goes wrong. Um, PE Core, as you can see, this has no releases, so we can just download this straight from the uh, straight from the thing. OX MySQL, this one is really important. If you source download this, it will not work. You have to release this, download this. Okay, there we go. Now we have all of our different files here, so we can go ahead and open that up. And we can start by dragging the PMA voice. Open that with WinRAR. As you can see, we have everything we need right, right in here in our PMA voice, so we're just going to drag that to our desktop. Uh, don't mind that. Um, and then we can go ahead and delete that. Uh, and then we'll need screenshot basic. These two are uh, dependencies, so if you want things to work properly, uh, you should do this. Um, this does not come in a folder, so we're just going to name this screenshot basic, just a random folder on my desktop. And when we open that up, we are going to go ahead and just drag both those things into there. Boom. Okay, that's that. Um, and then... The phone will come last, so we can go ahead and drag this to our desktop here because it will need a little bit of configuring before uh, it goes in anywhere. So we'll drag that to our desktop. OX MySQL, same thing, just right to the desktop. And then PE Core, once again, right to the desktop. Uh, make sure we... Did that work? It must have worked. Uh, one thing we need to make sure we do... Where did that file go? Um, Not sure where that file went. I'm not sure where... Uh, PE Core went. Let's... There we go. Okay. So we need to make sure we rename this and we're going to take the master off the end okay so to start we're going to go ahead and log into our server so depending on what you're using i use a server host uh so uh i use that posting so i'm going to go ahead and log into my ftp browser and i'll be back in a minute Alrighty, so here we are we logged right on into our server we're just going to go to server data 
and we're going to go to our resources folder. So now that we have this pulled up, we're just going to make that half of our screen, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, so we're going to start by installing PMA Voice. So as you can see, it's just PMA Voice 6.6.2. Uh, they do have a README, so if you want to uh, read over this, uh, you can. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do that since I've already installed this in the past. So all you're gonna do is it's just a simple drag drop, and then we're gonna wait for that to uh, do its thing. It's gonna take a minute. There it goes, and then we're gonna do the same thing with Screenshot Basic. Those two are the easiest to install by far. Okay, so now that we have those two installed, uh, don't worry about your server config just yet. We're going to do that at the very end. So, now that we have those two installed, we can just move them out of the way. So next, we're going to work on uh, OXMySQL and PE Core. So OXMySQL is actually pretty, uh, pretty similar. You're just going to drag it and drop it. But that's not the whole setup. We're going to have to set a... Uh, connection to OX MySQL in our server config a little bit later on. Now, for PE Core, it does come with a S.SQL as you can see. So I'm going to move that to my desktop. And then, other than that, you can just drag that right on in. There we go. And then, for the NPWD phone, it also comes with an import.SQL. So, going to go ahead and move that to our desktop. But we're not going to drag this in just yet. Now, we're going to go ahead and open up our database. All right, so here we are in our uh, database. So we are on the import page. So we're going to first drag the import.sql on in. And then we're going to go ahead and drag the pecore.sql. And boom. There we go. So both those are in. We can remove those off my desktop. So now if we go to structure in our database, as you can see, we have everything we need. So we have the users tab. That is from pecore, and that is what we will be using. And then we have all the rest of that. So, now we're going to go ahead and configure our NPWD phone. So, we're going to go ahead and open up the folder, and we're going to right-click Edit with Notepad on the config.json. And here we are. Okay, so, uh, use resource integration. We need to set this to true. Uh, you can change the keybind if you'd like, the command, default language. Um, you can turn on a profanity filter if you'd like, uh, and then right here, database, we need to go ahead and change this as well. So, we're going to just change this to true, and then as you can see, in our, it'll match up with our database. So, player table is supposed to be users, correct? Okay, this is what holds our users, and then it says identifier column identifier. That is also correct. We have an identifier column, and then we have identifier type license, which is correct, and then profile queries, true, and then phone number. So, phone number. Boom. So, there you go. Your NPWD phone is now linked. Go ahead and save that and close out. Now, we can go ahead and drag our NPWD phone right on into our resources and let that upload. Alrighty. So, now that that is in, we have everything we need. So, we have, um, we have PMA Voice. We have PE Core, OX MySQL, MPWD, and Screenshot Basic. It's everything you need right there. That's all your resources. So now we need to go ahead and configure our server.config. So, as I said earlier, I am using Zap Hosting just because it's like the easiest way for me to uh, set up a server with a database and everything. So, as you can see, this is our default database right here. All we're going to do is we're going to come right down below the these and we're going to do start. And then we're going to actually go into our files here and let's rename PMA Voice. Let's just remove the 6.6.2 and copy that. So we're going to start PMA Voice first. And then we're going to start Screenshot Basic. Okay, so we've started uh, Screenshot Basic and PMA Voice, but we're going to just come right to here below PMA Voice. And we're actually going to go ahead and start OXMySQL right there. Okay. Uh, for you guys, it, may, it might be ensure. It might not be start. Okay. And then right under OXMySQL, we're going to uh, go ahead and start PE Core. 
Make sure these are all the correct names. If they're not the correct name, then it could cause problems for you and your server. All right, and then we're going to come right here under uh, Screenshot Basic, and we're just going to give it a couple lines here. Okay, so you only need one of these. I'm going to use the top one because it's the one I'm most familiar with, and we're going to come back to here and ignore this. Alrighty, so... Uh, it's set my SQL connection string, so this is where we're going to link OX MySQL, and then PE core is going to link to OX MySQL. So if OX MySQL isn't set properly, it will not work. So you have to make sure this is set properly. So, so right here, you're going to put your database's username. Okay, perfect. And then in this colon right here, you are going to quite simply put the password to your database, which I'm not going to do just yet, just because I don't want to give you guys my password. And then where it says at localhost, uh, if you are hosting your server on your local PC, then you can leave this as it is, but I am using Zap Hosting, of course. So, I'm going to go ahead and copy the server IP and paste that. And then where it says slash es extended uh, is going to be your the database that it's going into. So I need to figure out where this is. Okay, so database. Boom. There you go. So pretty much. Uh, so it's going to be the username of your database, and then the password, the IP. Uh, and then the database, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password now. Alrighty, guys. So I put in my password right up there. I'm just two lines below where we just set that key. And now all you're gonna do is start npwd. It's the last thing we need to start. Scroll down, hit save, or at least like save your database. Not database. I mean um, config. And then you're just going to go ahead and either restart or start your server, one of the two. Okay, so as you guys can see, my server config is online, and it's a whole lot of crap. Yay. Um, let me see here if I can maybe reopen it, and it'll be better. Uh, no, okay, apparently not. Somewhere in here, right here, as you can see, uh, script OX MySQL database server connection established. That's a very good thing. That's what you want to see. And then, uh, obviously, there's no errors. So, right here, creating script environments for PMA voice, started PMA voice, started OX My OX MySQL, um, started PE core, and then it started screenshot basic and NPWD with no errors. That's exactly what you want to see. That means you've done it correctly and it is successfully in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the IP to this. And we're going to do connect. Boom. And it is going to have to uh, restart, actually, because uh, I'm on a different game version than uh, my own server. Speaking of my own server, while well, my game reboots here, uh, if you're not already, uh, I have two things to promote, actually. So the first is going to be uh, my... Uh, my own, ver my very own 5M server, for those of you that don't know, I have my very own 5M server, Mountain View Roleplay, that's the logo right there in the background. Uh, we're constantly looking for new members, so I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Um, if at any point you need any help with any of these resources, or maybe you have a different resource that, uh, you think I might be able to help you with, uh, you can always join my Discord, which will also be in the link in the description below, and, uh, I will try to help you out with that. So yeah, uh, join my community. We are looking for new members, and then uh, we're also looking for you know people to come hang out with in my personal Discord. So now we're just going to go ahead and load into the game, and we'll see you guys when we're in. Alrighty, so here we are in our 5M server. So as you guys can see down in the bottom right, clearly PMA voice worked because it says normal range. Uh, by default, it's going to be F11 to change the key binder there. And then if we go ahead and hit... I changed my keybind. If we go ahead and hit F5, 
Uh, it'll be F1 by default. You can always go into your 5M settings and change it. As you can see, the phone works. So we have, you know, settings with phone numbers and uh, stuff like that. You can change your ringtone. Um, you can go on Twitter and tweet, you know, hello. You know, there you go. Uh, you can change your profile. You can do everything. Um, and then this does not come with camera functionality. Uh, my next video will be on how to get your camera functionality working. As you can see, it will not work. So, stay tuned for the next video, and it will be on how to get your camera working. Uh, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. If you need any help with this video, like I said, join my personal Discord down in the link in the description below, and I will try to help you out the best I can. And, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.